I want to show you today a little bit more about the EEC1 ePlan configuration tool. You'll find, of course, this tool here under our solutions. We use it in many different areas. In the electrical engineering, we use it very often. Uh, it's a tool that allows us to configure, pre-configure our design. So technically, our daily challenge is, if I look at this small presentation here, it's always to get it out in a shorter time, get it out at a lower cost, and eventually at a higher quality. Is that possible? Some people will show you these kind of graphics here, fairly complex, you can see, made in Germany. Um, I'll go with something very easy. Today, we have some portion of the schematics that are reused, and we have a lot of individual engineering. It's very easy to understand that if we increase the reuse, we can shorten our design period, and if we have less individual engineering, then of course we gain in time and in delivery time. So technically a regular project as presented today, sales are done, we start our engineering as soon as possible, at one point in time we have a production uh, that starts. If we have some configuration that can be done, like certain options that we sell and we know and we can actually communicated these options or configurations to our sales team, they can shorten their time, we can start a lot sooner, and of course what we gain is we gain time and obviously we gain uh, and increase our quality because this reuse is of course better than when we have individual engineering. Now, shown in simple ways, I'm going to switch over to ePlan. So in ePlan, we use very often macros. Macros can be small portions like graphics, they could be uh, complete circuits, they could actually be circuits that are combined together like oh, just a motor, another set of motors, and usually when the users place them, they just place a macro like this, uh, they pick whichever they want, let's say filling, they have a certain variant, click on the tab button, place that variant, then go back, pick another macro, they pick the variant they want, they place it, they go down to, let's say, some power, they place some distribution uh, here, we can use the X and Y, place it, it numbers, of course, all the devices automatically. We don't have to do anything there. The wire numbers will get numbered automatically. That's all nice and dandy. And then we have also an interesting feature in ePlan called a placeholder. The placeholder actually enables, when placing a macro, a circuit like this, it actually comes up with a question. And that question is and populates certain informations on the uh, schematics. If we actually highlight the invisible stuff here, we can see the placeholder that basically by picking 15 amp, picked a part number here that already has certain uh, features assigned to it and uh, is automatically then assigned to that part. We can even push the placeholder a little bit further when we actually handle motors. For instance, here we have a motor that has the capability of assigning all kinds of different parts and informations based on whether we pick 0 0.5, 40 horsepower, 1 horsepower, 3 horsepower. And that, of course, helps the quality because once this is configured, you won't make the mistake of individually picking the objects. So this being said, macros is already a good point. Now, to shorten the sales process, what we try to do is to actually come up with a configurator. It's basically an Excel-based tool um, called the EC1. So let's open here a project. Very easy to actually handle this. So I'm just going to go here and pick the project I want to generate. It's all based on standard ePlan uh, stuff. So here is the filling package. And this is a little bit the view of it. We are picking different macros we are placing them on some pages, so we have some information here, and we can actually pick here one amp, or we can pick a, a three horsepower uh, rating, another three horsepower rating for this one here. So we can pick these information based on the placeholders that actually were in ePlan first. And then, since we are in Excel, we can come up with formulas like this, which means we can have a configuration page where you 
can define here whether you want the filling pot package and or yes, the uh, product package. Now the benefits is of course, you can see here these uh, this line actually uh, is there to configure whether yes or no we are taking over that line. So technically if I say here zero uh, is equal to no, that means that basically my formula for the packaging here is actually controlling the value zero or one. Now on other, in, in other cases we are looking at maybe some text like yes, no, whatever. The configuration is completely totally open and this is what you actually give to your salespeople. So the salespeople would actually pick the options and pre-configure for you this portion. And all you'd have to do is just hit here the generate button. So based on the standard portion, the reusable portion, we can pre-configure ahead of time with the sales guys together certain options or certain configurations of the setup that we want to do. So it actually is already finished. So it actually generated the project. So the project we just had earlier here, this one, I'm just reopening it. We will now see that we have actually only the filling portion. Although before you saw, I introduced the two different macros. The power page is done, uh, conveyors are done, but only to what is required. Even on the PLC where we actually picked one amp, you can see the one amp being picked. So you have your full generation of pages done automatically. Let's just close this two seconds again, okay? And let's pick here in the Excel the option one. So I go about, I just go here, I just regenerate. It takes a few seconds, you can see that in this line here, we have some exclamation marks that are gone. That's how easy it is actually to uh, um, eliminate a line from the generation. You can actually see the process going on. It is done. I go back to my ePlan project and now you will see that because I picked the packaging, now I have the packaging here that was introduced. On the motors, I will most likely find more motors being generated. On the turntable, I have this additional turntable that was there. So everything is updated. Even the PLCs are now complete, whereas before we had some, some holes. So this is the EC1. It can also handle pro panel, like the panel layout uh, of your pages doesn't have to, because you may actually now take this project and just create as usual new pages and additional pages. This is the individual engineering that is up to you. Again, you can insert some macros, everything. Your reports in ePlan, as you know, are always up to date. So the bill of material, don't even worry. It is up to date automatically because we had in the template already predetermined all the different reports that we are looking for and where you want to generate them. So this is done automatically. At the end of the day, you are a lot faster um, generating the same project that before took a little bit more time, right? So here we are now a lot faster in this curve and the quality is higher. This was the EC1, so the configurator. You can go and check it out. We use it for different uh, industries. Very, very interesting.